Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye compass sea and land to make one proselyte, and when he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. You have seen this troubling piece of video. Mercyhurst college hockey player Carson Briere, the son of longtime NHL player Daniel Briere, was out at Sullivan's, a local bar in Pennsylvania. After speaking with friends, Carson, 23 years of age, would do the unthinkable. Notice the wheelchair stationed to his right. It was put there because someone whose wheelchair it was, happened to be using the bathroom at the time. Carson would sit down in it. He would proceed to scoot in it a few times. Then, for no reason other than he just felt like it, Briere would push the wheelchair down the stairs of the establishment, breaking pieces off of it. The woman, Sydney Bennis, used the restroom. Nate Sanders, head of security at the pub, would say it sounded like someone actually fell down the stairs. Caught on security camera via the Associated Press, police in Erie, Pennsylvania, filed charges of criminal mischief, criminal conspiracy to commit mischief, and disorderly conduct against Carson Briere. We would also learn a Mercyhurst lacrosse player, Patrick Carosi, pictured here. He is a senior on the team and faces the same three charges, according to documents filed with District Judge Sue Mack. The two are scheduled to appear in court on May 22nd. Mercyhurst University formerly Mercyhurst College, is a private Roman Catholic university. It was founded by the Sisters of Mercy, otherwise a proxy set up by the Jesuits. It was led by Mother M. Bordia Egan. Borgia, a corrupt house deeply connected with the papacy of Rome, and the Jesuits. They were suspected of many crimes, including adultery, incest, simony, theft, bribery, and murder, especially murder by arsenic poisoning. There were numerous unsubstantiated claims that the family was of Jewish origin. Revelation 3 verse 9, of the authorized version, the King James Holy Bible, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews, and are not, but do lie, Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! Therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation.